right, we just came over the Green Mountains of Vermont and we're coming into Wilmington, Vermont. Over to our right is Harriman Reservoir. I think it's the biggest lake inside Vermont. And around the end of it here is a little picnic area and uh, tourist information. It says, welcome to Wilmington. You can stop and eat your lunch. And there's the marina, the end of the lake, if you want to rent a boat. Wilmington is a quaint little Vermont town. It's got a lot of cute little restaurants and antique shops and things like that. Today we are going to Molly Stark State Park. Um, it's a pretty small state park in Vermont. It's no hookups at the sites, but um, there's water around that you can you, you can get. <clears throat> but this is a nice little town. It's got all the things that a town needs. It's got a grocery store. It's got a couple gas stations. Got a little first aid station emergency clinic it's got uh, the post office and pizza places and ice cream stands and restaurants and hotels and bed and breakfasts it's a cute little town there's a family dollar store it's august 2015 it's a beautiful house here up on the hill it's a big bag bed and breakfast on one side of us is the pizza place, and on the other side of us is the ice cream and hot dog place. And we're going straight on 9. 100 took a turn there. We're going straight on 9 to Molly Stark State Park. And the state parks in uh, Vermont are not well marked. You have to know where they are or you drive right by them. They do have signs, but they're they're buried off the road. Um, they don't want to hurt the beauty of their roads, I guess. Now, right up ahead of us is the driveway to the state park, and as you can see, there's no sign or anything, and so you have to be going slow. <laughs> it's just a big driveway, and there's the sign. It finally, comes out. So we're going in here. It's basically a one lane road going in here. Whoops. And they've got speed bumps. We have, a, we have a pretty nice site. We're actually facing south, so we get sun for a good portion of the day. Um, it's a little weird getting in here and getting out, but um, and it's, it's uh, not the most level site, but we did get leveled up okay. Two boards, two boards, but the solar's up, and uh, it's cool. It's cool out, so we should be all right. We got some big trees here. Basketball court over in the back. I believe that's Camp Host way over there. They've got full hookups. They're the only ones in the whole park. It's a nice, uh, it's a nice, nice site. Lots of room. Fire circle, fire ring, picnic table. And um, I can put the car so the boys can sit in the car or be in the thing. I just gotta <laughs> figure out how to drive. Red cloth there is my shade for keeping the sun out of the big window. Um, the big window uh, sucks in a lot of heat. One important thing I'm sure you're interested in is there are uh, two bars on the cell phone here. So uh, there is cell phone signal here. There are two bathrooms in this park. This is one. It's kind of old and ratty. Ooh. It's basic... Uh, bathroom one shower and it takes quarters okay water over there water spigots look more like uh, here's a 
here's a drive through site next to the road. The only problem with it is that it has um, has an apple tree growing over the the site. So I think uh, if the wind blows, you're going to have apples falling on your trailer or car or whatever all night long. Site 16, a nice uh, pull-through site. And 17 is over here. Site 17, apple. Tent site is one side and a lean-to is on the other. They have lots of lean-tos in the Vermont State Parks. And uh, it's just a open face Adirondack lean-to. Picnic table and fire pit. Kind of nice. Comes with a broom. There's a rack spot on the back for either firewood or gear, I guess. Keep it out of the rain. That must be the camp post behind the bathroom. It's a great big huge fifth wheel with uh, looks like four slide outs. Separate shower doors. Similar to the National Forest and then the bathroom. Boy, very nice. Very nice. Tile bathroom, very nice. Here is the dump station next to the uh, Next to the bathroom, there's a better look at the bathroom and the dump station. RV sanitary station, they call it. And there's the office down the hill. It's a little picnic pavilion. Good morning, everyone. It is 745. Temperature inside the camper is 59. Temperature outside is 54. But you can see we have one heck of a lovely day out. The sun's just come up and uh, let's go outside. I think it's time to make I think it's time to make breakfast. Good to cook outside. No reason to eat like a savage just because you're camping. Mm. We are at the top of uh, Route 9 in Vermont. And this is what they call the 100 mile view from this little parking spot on the edge. And you really can see a long, long way. It's a little hazy today, but uh, it's pretty neat. <clears throat> okay. 
we're looking generally to the south. I'm pretty sure. This is the Hogsback Mountain Trail. Um, I'm told it's about two miles. White's Loop, Douglas Trail. Hmm. And here we come to another connection, which again, according to the map, we keep going right to Saltman Overlook. And then we'll go back White's Loop, I guess. Assuming we haven't lost anything. Let's go. And this is Saltman's Overlook. This was a dead end, although it's a nice place. Okay, back on the trail. We almost missed this one. So I guess uh, we came from that way, coming down a little path pretty quick. Caesar was trying to steal my stick and distracted me, and that's the other way back. So we're gonna go to the summit, take the summit trail. All right, let's go onward. Well, this is the top of Hogsback Mountain. It's uh, covered in trees, so there's not any great view. It was a nice hike, and it's awfully cool. Uh, maybe it's cool everywhere, but uh, cool breeze on top of the hill. And uh, it was a nice hike. We're going to head on down. Which way, Caesar? A oh, good boy. He's smart. We made it. There is the communications tower and here is the fire tower it's sad to think there are more stairs to get to the top I don't know if we're gonna make it <laughs> View from the fire tower. Whatever. Little village of Wilmington over there. Pretty cool though. Quite a breeze up here. It's nice and cool. Two very unhappy dogs. No way I was letting them climb the tower. Going up? No! 